Oh well, that's Paul again. All right, uh, another project, uh, two days, uh, two videos in two days. Um, a lot of parts came in today from uh, USA and various other countries. So I'll just swing you around. All right, on the bench today is the is a Kenwood PS52 power supply. Uh, this is a power supply I've owned for many, many years, and I love it. Uh, it started developing an issue a couple of months ago. A lot of noise coming out of the out of the power supply. Um, tested um, some caps, and the the main caps were actually gone. So the um, twenty five volt forty seven thousand and the twenty five volt forty seven hundreds. Um, there were faults in the larger one and one of these. So it's easy just to replace the whole lot. Uh, the other thing, whilst I was here, I did some upgrades. So the original large capacitor was a solder terminal. I've gone for, um, I've gone for a screw-in terminal. I've also updated the power supply leads to the capacitor. Uh, they were very, very short, um, and in here you could not see a thing. So I've gone through and cleaned up the PCB board. I had it all out, um, cleaned in around here. You could not see any of this. It was, um, uh, I think I'm the first one to open this up in all the years that I've had it. Um, the This capacitor is slightly larger than the other capacitor by about... Oh, 10 mil so I ground down the terminals the threaded uh, uh, terminals I also found uh, my own uh, screws I cut those down in size as well so they clear the the top of the panel and I've used uh, uh, heavy insulation um, on the the lugs here underneath um, and also put a cap there which is uh, double-sided and it presents no no problems now so uh, yeah there's not much to this even though it's taken about four hours four and a half hours to do this um, I take pride in my equipment and uh, I'll just turn it on so we've got that um, as you know these don't have a voltage meter on the front panel so via um, the VR1, which is here, not VR2. Some people um, adjust VR2. VR1 is for the voltage. All right, um, I've got this uh, set up. It's uh, it should be rock solid on 39, 30, 13.8 volts. Sorry, there we go. There, it's just sitting on that now. And anything up to 25 amps is no. There's no voltage drop at all on this. These are a absolute solid performer. All right, I'll just uh, put the covers back on. All right, here we go. The covers are back on again. All right. Well, that's your lot for today. These go in the bin. There were uh, were the um, two capacitors that I didn't have to replace, the 330 and 47 uh, UFs. They tested fine. It was just the 47, uh, 4,747,000, 4, the large one, and. Um, it's a much better product that I've put in there, sourced from Element 14, which were quite good. Uh, shipped here, got them over four days, I think it was. Anyway, that's your lot for today. That's uh, uh, Pull It Apart Paul, and we're working on my, uh, my ham gear at the moment. Remember, comment, like, and subscribe. I do appreciate all your comments. Cheers, guys. Enjoy the hobby.